Here's a walkthrough of everything that's new in the iOS 18 developer beta that was released yesterday, June 10th. So far, we don't have every single feature that they talked about at the WWDC event, but we do have certain features in the first developer beta. For example, you're able to customize the icons on the home screen between dark and light mode or system, which will do it automatically depending on what mode you're on. You can also choose between large and small icons, which all it does really is takes out the extra names below the icons for the apps. You can also tint the icons to whatever color you would like, pretty much every color of the rainbow, as well as a hue slider for how strong you want the color tone to be. You can also choose a color on your wallpaper, so you can choose a color that you would like for the theme. Um, really, only certain apps are supporting this right now, and it really just adds a gi giant color tint to every single app. So some apps look really ugly with it on. Like right now, I would say some apps just look horrible with this on and kind of looks uh, gross to be honest, but you can change that, play around, play around with that. I like to leave mine in dark mode, to be honest, it just looks cooler. And certain apps don't support that obviously because this is the first beta. There is a redesign control center here. You can choose between different widgets on the control center now. You can also do a single swipe down so you can go between the different controls and you can also uh, add new controls to the control center directly from here. Before this was only available through settings, but now there's also a lot more options to add. You can add certain widgets and talking about widgets, you can also re resize these icons to have however big you want them and you can move them around. So it's a lot more fun to play with now. There is also a new satellite feature in the control center right here. This allows for satellite messaging for people that live in rural areas and uses the same technology that the 15 Pros and 14s had for emergency SOS via satellite. The AI features are going to be coming later this fall and those are only available for 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max and the new 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max that will be coming in the fall as well. There is no note on if the 16 and 16 Plus are going to be getting these features yet and the beta is available if you are a developer so let me know what you think about the update so far you can also go to the lock screen you can change between the different colors of the lock screen and you can also change the different shortcuts here you can add a shortcut you can change the different icons on the bottom left and right you can do anything you want pretty much over here which is great to see and android has had this for years i've seen a ton of comments of people talking about that but if you're an Android fanboy, please just like let iOS have its one time. Um, yes, I, uh, Android is ahead in customizability still, but there's uh, certain things that iOS has which it's been lacking, which is nice to see. But let me know in the comments what you think of the new updates so far.